A huge body of evidence now shows that metabolic acidosis is linked with a long, long list of chronic illnesses. But there's also a growing body of evidence showing that it's linked with premature aging. That is aging before our time. And when you look at the basic science behind it, where the fact that it's linked with an increase in mortality, first of all. So an increase in the death rate. Inflam aging. Inflammation is the chronic condition linked with all forms of chronic illness, cancers, cardiovascular disease, and so on. And they call it inflam aging because it's um, the inflammation goes along with aging in people who don't look after themselves, that is. And then we've got increase in metabolic syndrome as a result of, of acidosis, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, for example, um, increase in atherosclerosis, the plaque build up on the inside of the arteries, kidney and gallstones, hormonal imbalances, cancers are well known to be associated with an increased risk as a result of metabolic acidosis. So with all these multiple sclerosis, osteoporosis, arthritis, sleep disturbances, and even macular degeneration. The more I look into it, the more I find all of these conditions are linked with increases as a result of metabolic acidosis. And so when we move across to here, we find, okay, that they're also linked with premature aging. Now, these are obviously major aspects of aging, but increase in premature aging. And one of the things that they report is that over a certain age, when you get older, probably in the post 60, 65 group, your ability to get rid of the acid load out of your body declines. In other words, even if you're on a healthier diet, you struggle to get rid of that acid load buildup as a result of literally your metabolic changes that occur with aging. So even more so when you're aging, make sure you're eating the right foods and doing the right type of things. And the studies on premature aging show that literally, this is in mice, that it decreases the telomere length. Now telomeres are the little rubber bands at the end of our DNA strands, and they're the things that pull apart every time it, it splits and multiplies, and as a result of that, it's one of the best indicators of how long we live. The longer the telomere length, the longer the predictability of our lifespan, increase in our lifespan. And we know that acidosis is uh, linked with a decrease in telomere length, a decrease in lifespan of uh, mice when they increase the acid load, uh, the dietary acid load in mice, it decreases their lifespan. Uh, there's a decrease in physical frailty, fatigue and functioning as a result of the, the studies on both humans and mice as a result of acidosis. So now these are all characteristics of premature aging. One of the last things you want to do is become physically fatigued, frail, and just unable to function physically as we age. And it's linked with metabolic acidosis. And then you've got decrease, sorry, an increase in cognitive decline and in poor mental health as a result of it, including states like anxiety and depression as well, which of course, go hand in hand with premature aging. And so if you imagine there, if there are some simple steps that we can take, oops, there are, aren't there? And then finally, to do with that mental health decline and so on, the research shows that uh, metabolic acidosis leads to an increase in the formation of what's called the beta amyloid plaque. That's the plaque that's associated with Alzheimer's. And so one of those conditions which everyone fears once they, they get to about post 35 and they think, okay, well, what we know is metabolic acidosis leads to an increase in the plaque formation. So good reason to actually bring it back into balance. So therefore we look at what treatments are there. And one of the, the big issues I've been trying to educate people is about the simple strategy of bicarbonate therapy. And that is just a, a half a teaspoon, a quarter of a teaspoon of sodium bicarbonate mixed in with water first thing in the morning. Now this is a, the immediate solution, but it's also lots of other things like potassium citrate can, can be used as well as magnesium and other minerals in combination. And even best is when you go for uh, an alkaline diet, which I'll have a lot more information on the alkaline diet. So when you subscribe below to the channel uh, and I put up details of the alkaline diet and the, the ideal ways of alkalizing quickly and 
to achieve the best outcomes, um, you'll find those on the channel when you subscribe below. And of course, uh, tick, tick the boxes and share with your friends. So what we know is with treatments, it increases the lifespan of chronically ill mice. They've got these mice that they've genetically bred so that they live short lives. And when they give them uh, uh, literally some alkaline therapy, including bicarbonate and potassium citrate and a whole raft of these combinations, things, the extends their lives by something like 61%, which is huge. It's almost, it's a pretty well, almost a doubling of their lifespan as a result of some bicarbonate therapy. Now, it's probably not gonna happen with you, but if you're chronically ill and got sick and got all these conditions and so on, and you wanna try something so simple, and it is simple, then you can try the bicarbonate therapy and the, the low acid forming diet, the alkalizing diet. We also know that it decreases artery calcification, which is a major player in all the cardiovascular diseases. It decreases insulin resistance, these are in both humans and um, uh, animal studies. And some other research has shown that it actually improves the functioning of certain vitamins and minerals, in particular, vitamin D. And vitamin D is known for its importance in terms of um, a healthy, living longer lifestyle, a fun functioning immune system, and so on. So at the end of the day, what we've got is this huge body of evidence showing that something, something as simple as alkalizing your diet can make a big difference to your aging process. And so my suggestion is, Subscribe below, follow, and let's, let's make a difference.